everyone, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman. Today I'm going to be taking you around a car we're very excited about here in used cars. It is a 2015 MY16 Pajero Sport Exceed. The current wait list on this, and I confirmed this just before recording this video, is three months for a new one. You can save yourself a few grand and get one today. That's a brilliant incentive to come down and have a look at this car. In the most popular color as well. I've got the little lights turned on because we just love them. I reckon they look cool. Not really showing up too well in this light, but at night time they look brilliant. At the front of the Exceed, obviously we have HID headlights. You've got the headlight washers there to keep them nice and squeaky and clean. Such a cool looking car. Some people don't like the look of it. I love it. I think cars have to come forward and not all look the same. At the front here, big chrome bit down here. Under the front sensor, we've got a fog light as well. Big chrome grille. Inside here is many, many radars. We'll talk about them inside. We have forward collision mitigation and radar guided cruise control as well. As you'd expect from the kilometers of this car, front end presents really well. Got one stone chip just there. Not much to talk about. I'm used to doing these car videos at 100,000 where I've got all sorts of things to talk about. Oh, excuse me. Coming down the side of the car now, presents brilliantly. No signs of shopping trolley dings or anything like that. Really, really impressive. Upgraded wheels on these cars. They went up to an 18 inch wheel on these cars and do have a highway terrain tire, which I can't even get my finger to the bottom of. Really good tread there as well. Do have the inbuilt side steps here, making if you've got roof racks, really easy to get up on the roof and have a look as well. Um, coming down the side of the car, lots of chrome. Does have proximity key. Leave the key in your purse or your pocket, however you go, and it just hit the little button, opens it up. Great if you've come out with a couple of bags of shopping or the little one, just come up, touch that, open it. No hunting around for keys in your pocket. It's beeping at me because the keys are inside the car. Coming down the side of the car, no signs of scratches or anything down the side of the car at all. Brilliant condition, unmarked alloy wheel at the back. Good condition, road tire as well. Coming back a little bit further now, we will have a look at the back and yet again as i said i've got the lights turned on here because it's just such a cool looking car got the really big led parking lights going all the way down the bottom there when you brake this section here gets a lot brighter lots of chrome throughout big flat back so when you're reversing the car you know straight drop no overhangs brilliant for off-road driving as well do note rear tire down there brilliant condition hasn't got a tow bar so it hasn't towed someone's caravan or boat brilliant towing capacity on these cars though as well unlike a lot of brands that tow the three and a half this is 3.1 but you can have some friends with you a lot of the cars at three and a half you put a three and a half ton trailer on the back you can have one friend maybe an esky bit hard to go touring with that sort of equipment at the back we might as well open it up while we're here it does have a reversing camera that's the little lens just there pop that up massive amount of space in the back of this car we do have the cargo blind fitted here as well Pop that in there so you can hide all of your many goodies you put in the back here. Do have a 12 volt socket there as well for say a fridge or if the kids want to charge their iPad from the back seat. Brilliant idea that one. Um, tools, rear tire access is down here. Carpa presents brilliantly as well. 60-40 folding seats, they do fold and roll. So if you go to Bunnings or Ikea, you can fit the big box in the back as well. Let's grab the door handle here. I'm not the tallest of person. My cameraman's like two meters tall. I'm not. Easy to grab and quite light as well, which is nice for the family. Three, uh, sorry, we have a multitude of parking sensors. We've even got two here, one pointing that way, one pointing this way, so you know where everything is when you're reversing. Down to the passenger side now of the car, this is commonly the side where we do see any damage if there was to be any, because that horrible thing we call a curb. On this side, none of that. Brilliant condition rear wheel, unmarked, not even a nick on it. Brilliant condition rear tire as well. Coming down the side of the car, Usually I like to find scratches and nicks. I can't find one at all. Presents brilliantly. Sidestep unmarked. There isn't even signs of fingernail scuffs inside the door cups, actually. Do have the chrome mirror scalps with indicators in the mirrors. Coming up to the last of the wheels now. Unmarked yet again. Brilliant condition tyre, which easily hide your hands in. So stepping back a little bit and looking at this beautiful car. Presents brilliantly. Around to the front of the Pajero Sport, some exciting, exciting features to talk about this car. At the front, one thing my camera told me I forgot, we've got lots of front sensors as I mentioned. In here is a radar. Now when we get inside the car, I'm going to show you a cool feature. I'm going to give you a little highlight now. Just in there, one of the many cameras, and when I say many, I mean many cameras around. We'll get into that in a minute, it's pretty cool. Up the front here, one thing compared to the old Challenger, 
new story here. It's I think it was 92% a new car. The only thing that stayed the same is some of the chassis rails. The rest of it's all new, including the engine and the gearbox. Lots of sound deadening. This is a quiet diesel. Now, what we're looking at there is a four-cylinder, 2.4-litre high-output turbo diesel. It's going to give you 133 kilowatts of power, 430 newton metres of torque, but unlike all the others in the competition, you have an eight-speed transmission on this car, making the most of that power. Four by four, of course. In a big car like this, you're going to get an amazing eight litres to the 100 fuel economy out of a very cheap to fill 68 litre fuel tank you're going to get in excess of 850 kilometres of average driving range. All right, inside the Pajero Sport Exceed now, a lot to talk about. Currently have the car off because I want to demonstrate something. As I mentioned, proximity key. Have two keys for this car. Keep one inside your purse, handbag, pocket, wherever you keep it. Of course, there is a little secret key in there as well. Pop them just in there and a um, little touch of the button and starts. Easy, hands free, ready to go. Nice and quiet. It does beep a little bit. It's probably wanting me to put my seatbelt on. Hopefully it doesn't come back. Um, we'll start at the centre here. Steering wheel, of course. Leather wrapped. Lots of buttons on it. Such a massive improvement in the old Challenger. Mitsubishi has just jumped leaps and bounds with this vehicle. We're so excited to have it, actually. On the right-hand side on the Exceed, you get cruise control, of course, where you can set your range to the car in front of you. A bit useless on the Monash, but on an open country road, say on a drive to, say, Bendigo or Ballarat, brilliant. I drove one of these to a Chuka and back and barely touched the brake pedal at all going through small towns. It will slow down for you. The car in front of you speeds up again. It speeds up with the caravan in front of you. Effortless driving. Of course, menu buttons there, of course. On the left side, we have our source and volume controls. This one's volume and Bluetooth phone. And a fun little button there as well. Just going to push that. And this is what I was talking about before. It's a little bit hard to see because we're parked in a black car park at the moment. We are sort of digressing a bit, but I'm too excited. Obviously, that's our front camera there showing what's in front of us. So a brilliant use if you're parking, things like that. Good if you're actually off-road as well because you can't see what's in front of you. But this camera will tell you, help you with your line. It's really good to have. This one here, brilliant. It's showing exactly where the car park is around us. I mean, there's a line in front of us. Let's just try it. I'm going to try it. Let's go. Let's go for a drive. Let's see. I'm not going to look at this one. We'll go to that line. Perfect. Stop there. Now, look at that. On the line. Perfect. So, really, really good. Pop it in reverse. You get the reverse camera there as well, showing exactly where we are. It's really, really nifty. This one here, brilliant as well. And here's the cool thing. Turn the steering wheel. Not only does it show you where the back of the car is going, it shows you where the front's going to swing to and gives you a perfect line exactly. We could, if we turn a little bit more, we could probably just get beside that Pajero there. How cool is that? Making lining up your van perfect and it's completely adjustable to where you turn the wheel. Brilliant technology that as well. I think you'd be really, really impressed. I'm actually over the moon with that. It's good fun to play with. Probably very good to live with as well. Anyway, back to the normal regime, I think. Hey, it does it for the front as well. Didn't even know that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Coming back to the normal regime. My cameraman's hurrying me up. Dashboard. Up the front. Nice white illumination. Easy to read speedo. Does have your full drive modes there in the center as well. And a nice easy to read tachometer as well. Turn the steering wheel to the right. The little line moved again. That's great fun. On the back here, automatic headlights. As I mentioned before, you do have high output headlights, the HRDs. So a little button here to wash them if you go through mud. Keep them nice and squeaky and clean so you don't blind people. Front and rear fog light, of course. Now, auto head automatic headlights work brilliantly at night. Do remember at rain time, sometimes you do have to turn them on yourself. But nice to have the automatic function there if you forget. Start button for the engine. Big mirrors. Does have a fold button as well if you're either off-road or if you're in a tight car park. Fold them in. Fold them back out. Down here, some buttons. I don't know why you'd turn them off. Traction control can be useful to turn that off if you're in sand or something like that. If the traction control grabs you, just stop. Maybe you want to keep it off and just keep powering along. Rear sonar, great if you would have hit a tow bar to this car because nothing worse than reversing a trailer and having the car think you're going to run into your trailer the whole time. And forward collision mitigation, you can turn it off. I don't know why you would, but you can. Um, bring the steering wheel back up. We do have four door power windows over here, nice chrome door pills set and trimmed throughout. We'll go this way and we'll go up a little bit as well. Here, because it's a low kilometre car, here are the headrests and remotes for the uh, rear DVD unit as well. Um, as you can see, unused, still in their original packaging. Up here, electric chromatic mirror. Hello. 
Um, that will dim down automatically if someone with bright headlights appears behind you and will um, brighten back up when they go away. Nice and simple to live with. From there we've got a little lights of course, a sunglass holder which is nice to have. Coming back further of course we have rear DVD as well. That is brilliant for the kids. A road trip with that, nice and quiet. Gone are the days we have to keep yelling at kids to look out the window. They just watch Spongebob the whole trip. Coming back down, climate control, dual zone of course. You can have it different on each side or you can lock it into the same as well for both sides. A little button there telling you who has their seat belts on which is nice. And a button there to test all four indicators at the same time. The shifter, as with everything in this car, styled so well. Used to just be function, now everything's actually styled brilliantly. Just move that out of the way. Heated seats, I'm going to pop mine on because I love it. If you have a sore back or anything like that, pop them on. Change your life, make your morning so much better. Rear diff lock, brilliant if you're off-road. I use mine often if we're off-roading because it's a good get out of jail free car. Pick up a wheel in the back, it just keeps powering along, nice to have. Obviously this is a little side car alert, blind spot monitoring. Does have brilliant actual vision all the way around the car, especially if you like me and you still do a head check. But if you don't or you forget to, it does have the blind spot monitoring there just to say, hey, there's a car next to you or a motorbike, brilliant for them. 12 volt socket, of course. Shifter, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and then you've got your sports mode. When you click it into sports mode, it does enable the paddles here on the steering wheel as well. And they've got a nice feel to them as well. It's not cheap plastic, it's a nice feel, I like that. Just turn them off, just hold the up paddle a little bit and it will turn off automatically. Pop it in park. Coming down, downhill descent, you can set your speed limit for how fast you want to go when you're going downhill. That's useful off-road. And of course, a little off-road mode there as well. Just tell the traction control, hey, we're um, we're roaming around on the rough stuff. Four-wheel drive. Currently, this car is in four high because in the Mitsubishis, you can. You're allowed to drive this car because it has a center differential in this car. You can actually drive it in four high on the roads. Two high, obviously, going to save a bit on fuel there, which is nice. But four high, brilliant in the rain or something like that, or snow. Gives you that high range ability, but four-wheel drive traction. Of course, four high locked center. That's more for when you're on, say, paddocks or something like that, where you still want the high range, but you want the sure grip of the front rear transmissions being the same. Four low locked center, you are climbing every mountain, fording every stream with this car. Your only limitation at that point is tires, and they're pretty good on this car. Electric handbrake, gone are the days of the big old handle or the foot one. We have just a little electric job, same as a normal car. Pull it up to put it on, which I'm doing right now. Push it down to turn it off. Two nice cup holders, piano black trim. Coming back from there, we've got our nice leather wrap center console. A little thing there to hide all of your things. A couple of bonus screws, probably for the number plates. We'll throw them in for free. How's that? Going to get my camera to zoom around the interior. One thing I will notice, and this is something we all got excited about when we first got in the car, big side bolsters, really comfortable chairs in this car. Mine are heating up brilliantly now too, by the way. Brilliant trim, great condition carpet, no floor mats in this car, but the carpet's in brilliant condition. Going around the interior, you'll see the updated style everywhere. Rear seats, brilliantly styled as well. Do have the center armrest, as well as the center seat belt in the uh, roof there as well. Coming back to the front, I'm gonna dive into the service books. Just found them, here we go, service and warranty. Even like the new white books that they've given us, it's pretty nifty actually. Let's go to servicing, although 14,000 carries, I'm only expecting to see one, but let's see what we've got here. Yep, as I thought, one service done by us a little bit early. It's due at 15, so we've done the service here as well. Before I go though, there is one thing I should demonstrate, but I don't have my phone on me because I left it at home. Silly me. This tablet here is phone enabled, so you sync your phone up to it. You have your Google Maps or your Android Maps from your phone. It does sync in here. You can hit your apps button there and it'll bring all of the apps up. And let's see if we can do it. See, it brings it up here, the basic menu. You do have your iPod USB, your digital audio, brilliant feature that one. If you click apps, it won't work at the moment because we don't have a smartphone. But if you've got your smartphone connected, you can enable a lot of smartphone apps through the center console here. You can even preload GPS maps if you're out in the rough stuff as well. Brilliant feature. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our 2015 MY16 Pajero Sport Exceed. An absolute brilliant example. We're really excited to have it. Do be very, very quick. As I said, current wait time, three months. Do be quick, give us a call, 9907 and thank you for watching.